stroke. It's the leading cause of death in the U.S. and it can cause more serious long-term disabilities than any other disease. Sally Hernandez talked to a neurologist, part of a national effort to raise awareness, especially among younger people. Dr. Wright, thank you for joining us. Let's start with how common it is to have a stroke. Well, we have almost a million people, about 800,000 people a year in the United States that have a stroke. So it's a very big problem. And one of the uh, biggest problems about it is that it's very dangerous. If you have a stroke, uh, it, it can kill you. Uh, it can leave you with a very severe permanent disability uh, where you, uh, you know, require assistance from, from other people in order to, to do your daily, uh, daily uh, activities of daily living. So it's very important to try and do everything you can to lower your risk of having a stroke. And it's also associated with cognitive impairment and dementia. So people are more and more concerned about getting dementia later in life. Uh, it's very important not to have a stroke because that can increase your risk of dementia as well. And there's research that we're also seeing strokes in, in younger people. What do you make of that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it does seem like the risk of stroke is going up in some younger people. Um, I think it's all due to the same risk factors, actually. So the most common risk factors for stroke are things like hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking. And we, of course, have a, a pandemic uh, or a uh, uh, an ob obesity uh, problem in the United States, and obesity actually causes hypertension and, and diabetes. And so uh, all of those things together mean that uh, the younger population is starting to be affected. Are there any things that we can do to lower our risk for a stroke? Well, I mean, I think I would start with the basics, such as having a, a healthy diet, uh, you know, and there's there's lots of different, you know, healthy diets out there. So pick one that uh, that works for you. Get regular exercise. It's very important for people to get exercise and uh, both uh, resistance training and, and cardiac training. Dr. Clinton Wright with the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. Thank you again for joining us. People across the country are still recovering from storms. In fact, it's the sixth week in a row with